Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about some recent comic book movie news that has just been released. I'll be talking about some animated news, Spider-Man news, some DC news, and etc., etc. But before we get into this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and turn on those post notifications so you can notify when I post a new video. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to talk about is some Marvel animated news. It's just been reported that Marvel's zombies will be pretty intense, meaning it's going to be TVMA rated. That means we're going to get some very, very gory scenes. It might be like an inventable type of show where it's a lot of blood and it's a lot of just graphic things things and this is good news for a show like this because if you have ever read marvel zombies comics you know that it gets pretty dark and pretty graphic throughout the entire comic book series people are getting torn in half their organs are spilling everywhere and it's just honestly a very unpleasanting thing to see so i'm actually kind of happy that we're hearing this for the tv show that marvel is making so props to them it's also been reported that Marvel is considering reviving old Marvel 90s cartoons after the big success that they've had so far with X-Men 97. I'm talking about Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, Iron Man, Hulk, Silver Surfer, all of those old classic 90s Marvel cartoons. Marvel is considering reviving just like they did X-Men. And they're trying to do this through the X-Men 97 show, meaning all these other characters will be introduced in X-Men 97 and will probably get their own branched off series or continuation of their original series through X-Men 97, if that made sense. Seth Rogen is making a rated R animated Venom movie. And this is very, very exciting. And this is very, very great news, especially when I hear Seth Rogen is going to be making this movie because Seth Rogen has directed, I believe, The Boys. And we all know that he made Team and T Mutant Mayhem, and that was an amazing movie. And from what I heard, The Boys TV show was also really great. So I'm really excited to see what he has to offer to the Marvel Universe for Venom. Characters like Captain Carter, Kohori, Quicksilver, and King Pin will be in season three of What If. Now... Three of these characters that I've just named, I'm actually pretty excited to see them. And one of them, I don't want to see them at all. I want their character to be burned to the ground. And that character is being Captain Carter. I don't like Captain Carter. Never liked Captain Carter. And I hate how much they overused her in season two of What If. And that really, really made me didn't like season two as much as I liked season one. Because they just kept using her over and over again for some reoccurring story of hers. When they could have just explored some other story that could have been way, way more interesting than just hearing a lot about Captain Carter. We don't need her. We never needed her. And in my opinion, she's not a good character. Anyways, moving on. The animated Your Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man show will have 10 episodes, and each episode will be 30 minutes long. Now, that was all the recent animated movie news or show news. Now, let's talk about some Spider-Man news that we have just gotten from Marvel. Apparently, Spider-Man 4 will be taking a darker tone for this next movie, and it will have a much more darker feel, like a Batman-type feel to this movie, and here's why. Tom Holland's Peter Parker persona will reportedly start fading away in the MCU. In his mind, Peter Parker is no more, but Spider-Man lives on since he has either lost or detached himself from everyone he's ever loved. All he has to keep going is being Spider-Man, whether the city loves him for it or not. As the title of Spider-Man continues to consume Peter's life, little by little, Peter Parker will take a back seat and continue to fade from existence slowly. So if what I just read is true, I'm actually all for it, and I think Marvel should really take this route. It only makes sense, because how else would Peter react to all of his loved ones just forgetting just forgetting who he was? Like, obviously, he's going to be sad, depressed, or, like, mad in some type of way. So to take a darker tone with the fourth movie makes a lot of sense, and Marvel, I think y'all should go for it. Oh, it's also been reported that Spider-Man 4 will begin filming in fall 2024 slash this year and i know we already kind of knew this but zendaya has officially been confirmed to return for spider-man 4 which is also why euphoria season 3 has been delayed if any of you have been wondering that but yeah zendaya is coming back for spider-man 4 um i'm kind of iffy on that it doesn't really make sense at least for me because why would you have her just forget about peter completely and have peter start a new life and then bring her back in the fourth movie just to like I don't know, but I feel like they're going to have her role be trying to figure out who Peter Parker is this entire time. 
maybe that's it. Maybe they'll have her, like, stalk who Peter Parker is. Maybe she'll find out that Peter Parker is Spider-Man in the fourth movie. But, honestly, I just don't think that she, that she should be in this movie at all, along with Ned. I think that this should just be a new beginning for Spider-Man and a fresh start. But as far as the director for Spider-Man 4 goes, it's been reported that Justin Lin is on mix to direct Spider-Man 4, but there's still no director. Now, if you guys didn't know, before all of this Spider-Man news had was even like came out, there was a kind of war between Sony and Marvel, whether they should do another multiverse movie for Spider-Man 4 or keep it street level grounded movie. And Marvel was and Marvel wanted it to be a street level grounded movie and Sony wanted it to be a multiverse movie. And they also said that depending on who they pick for their director will tell us what type of movie that they will be doing for this next Spider-Man movie. Now, judging off of that story I just told you guys about Spider-Man having a darker tone and Justin Lin being the director, I'm pretty sure Marvel won and we're going to get a street level type of Spider-Man movie like all of us want, or at least I want and most fans want because I'm tired of a lot of multiverse movies for a lot of these street level characters like Spider-Man. And plus, Justin Lin, as far as I know, he has directed a lot of Fast and Furious movies. And as far as the action and, like, choreography, would, as far as, like, the um, action goes for those movies, it looks absolutely great. So if he's going to be directing Spider-Man 4, I expect some a lot, like, intense swinging and parkour that Peter Parker will, will be doing as he fights crime or fights the big bad villain of this next Spider-Man movie. Now, here are some general Marvel news that has just been released. It's just been reported that Fantastic Four will, will begin filming this summer, 2024, slash this year. Henry Cavill's role will also be revealed sometime this year. And strangely enough, even though Jonathan Majors is, like, out of Marvel, and we heard that they are not calling Avengers 5 Avengers Kang Dynasty, they're still going to have Kang be the main villain of Avengers 5. But even more exciting news that comes with this is that Marvel is also thinking about adding another villain to the plot. Hopefully that villain being Doctor Doom. And speaking of Doctor Doom, maybe Henry Cavill really is going to be playing Doctor Doom. And hopefully it's not, at least for me, I don't want to see him play Doctor Doom. I want to see Henry Cavill play somebody else. I want to see Henry Cavill play somebody else because I feel like there's a whole bunch of more better offers to play Doctor Doom than Henry Cavill. You know what's a really interesting thing that I think Henry Cavill could play, though? Wonder Man. I know that it's been confirmed that this guy's playing Wonder Man, but the show, like, seems to be, like, not even in production. So maybe it got scrapped and we haven't heard about it yet and Henry Cavill's going to be the new Wonder Man. But that's highly unlikely. Now, moving on to some DCU news. A live-action Teen Titans movie is in the works at DC. And Anna Nogiria is writing the script. I'm sorry if I did not pronounce her last name right. I will also be giving my fan cast and probably like in a YouTube short, so watch out for that. And it's reported that the Batman Part 2 will begin filming next year in April. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share if you enjoyed the video. And let me know you guys' thoughts on all this news. And I'll see you on my next one. Peace!